everyone. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. I have Ryan McCarthy here from the downtown deli out in Bluffton, and we are going to talk brine today for turkeys. 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 Turkey. That time. Hey, turkey. Yeah, turkey. Yeah. <laughs> How fitting. Yeah. <laughs> All Love right. Fun. This is, I mean, this is great because I'm just You're learning about brine. You're a smoker and a deep fryer. Yeah. yeah. I, yep. This is awesome. So it looks like we have a couple different things going on. Normally, I'm a deep fried man, but, right. um, you know, each year we try to come up with something new, yeah. different for the catering, and... So last year we attempted the brining situation and yeah. we came up with a bunch of recipes and we got good feedback. So. And I like all the ingredients I'm already seeing yeah, right it's here. Fall. So, yeah. Yep. So we're going to just show you a couple brines, give you a couple tips. Okay, um, perfect. So if you want to attempt to brine your own turkey, or if you want me to brine it for you, I'll brine it for you either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Because brining, let's let's start going for yeah, it. Brining I mean, really. It's a little bit of science to it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, it, one of the benefits is it keeps it moist. Right. Okay. Um, you can do it a couple days ahead of time. They say um, pound a turkey for every hour. So if you got 18 pound turkey, you want to do it for about 18 you want hours. To, or brining, marinating. Yeah, I mean, marinating. You, you know, I know people because yeah, yeah. I know the word brine kind of it's like, wait a second, what is that? What's the difference? But brine salt. though is salt or sweet. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to dip so into this one? So the first one I'm going to do is um, cranberry and orange. Cranberry again, good fall flavors. Yep. So. You don't have to be fancy with it. All you want to do is kind of get it open so you can get some of the flavors out right, of the oranges. Right, absolutely. Mm, um, that looks good. <laughs> I love oranges. <laughs> you want to make sure you have enough water because you need to complete, completely submerge the turkey. Okay, gotcha. Which, so, obviously, right here, we, we're not doing that with the water here, right. but this is something. A tip is just to take your turkey, put it in a pot, cover it with water. Okay. Kind of give yourself a measurement, you know, okay, a couple gallons. Perfect, that way you know. Perfect. Um, cranberry juice. And you bring this to a boil. Because it's ah. gonna it's gonna extract all the flavors out. Okay, great. So, so you'll this put this is... in a stock pot, which we have right. a stock pot right there. This is the stock pot. Bring it to a good boil. Okay. Um, I use cranberry juice. I use fresh oranges. I use fresh cranberries. Oh, that looks. It even just smells good. It smells really good. Yeah. And then um, a cup of sugar per pound of the turkey. Okay. Again. I mean, I'm not sorry. No, cup of sugar per gallon of water. Per gallon of water. So, Again, this is the science of it. Yeah. Because if you mess, really, if you mess that up, it messes up the whole flavor profile of it. So a turkey like this is probably going to take you about four gallons of water. Ah, okay. So you need right. about, you need four cups of sugar. Right. Okay. All right. So you just bring all this to a boil in your stock pot. Okay. Let it cool. Okay. Submerge the turkey in. That's another thing is you Completely want submerged. this to, to cool down because if you're putting a cold turkey into a hot sub liquid right. that's gonna not going to yeah, work. No. Temperature's <laughs> yeah. not good, no. Again, the science of it all. Yes. <laughs> or common sense of it all. That's right. But yes, but you do have to let it cool. Yes. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Yep, so then that's the cranberry orange one. Bring okay. to a boil, completely submerge. I we got a, We have a 12-pound turkey here, so you want to sit at 12, pound, 12 okay. hours. Okay. You're not going to hurt it if you go 18 hours or 24 hours. It's not going to hurt Absolutely. it. It's only going to make it better. And this you would roast. In yes. The oven. yes. Okay. Yep. Now let's just keep in mind while we're doing all this. These are awesome tips. I love it. But if you cannot do it, this is your guy. So, yes. So everything we're doing here, you can do for them. I will them. brine the turkey for you. I will give you the brine. Okay. With the instructions how to brine yourself. Okay. Um, we do side dishes. Perfect. Oh, everything. So you might not have to worry about anything. But if you are, you know, if you're, yeah. or maybe you want to just order the sides from you. Yep. And then brine your own turkey. Yes. That's okay. Right, yeah. So what's our other brine that we're going to do? Next one is to the side thyme here. and apple. Thyme and apple. Yep. Another lovely yep. fall yep. combination. There. Again, just want to give your apple a rough chop. Doesn't matter what kind of apples you use. Okay. Now the Granny Smith though is on the uh, tartar. That's tartar. why I prefer. Is that, yeah. is that a, such a word? It's a, it's a word now. I've been called tart before. <laughs> <laughs> so again, just a rough chop. Okay. And again, we're just putting this so you guys can see it, but this would go into a big Stock pot. Stock because yes. you want to bring it to a boil. Absolutely. Yep. And again, with the four gallons of water. Yep. Okay, great. Time, fresh time. And the key is to make sure you bring your water to a boil. Okay. That's going to pull all the flavors out of the thyme, all gotcha. the flavor out of the apple. Gotcha. And uh, we use apple juice for this. Ah, okay. And now is this just, it's good old apple juice, nothing? Uh, actually, I'm sorry, apple cider. Apple cider. So mm -hmm. good old apple cider. Yeah. Nothing... Nothing fancy about it, but no. putting these flavors together yep. is what makes it so and different. And again, uh, four cups of sugar, oh four God. gallons of water. Time oh my gosh, really, that really good smells yeah. really good. Yep. I, look at these colors too. Not bad. That's awesome. If you want to get crazy, you can throw a couple cinnamon sticks in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Now, okay, so these are the type of brines that you can, again, I just want to reiterate, because this is a lot of measurement, mm -hmm. and, you know, if you don't get it right, you might not have the right turkey. You can make this brine for them. Yes. And you can... I'll make the brine for you. I'll chill it for you. 
Gotcha. It'll be in a jug for you. You just have to buy your own turkey. You want to buy a fresh turkey. Okay. Frozen's okay, it'll work, but really you want to buy a fresh turkey. And ultimately with anything. You yeah, it's frozen. Fresh. You're going to take those two days to defrost it, so it's like a week process, which Ooh. Thanksgiving, there's too much going on. Or you can, again, you can order or you it from can, yeah. <laughs> and so, pick it up on Wednesday. <laughs> no self-basting. Yes. That's going to be very salty. Oh. Um, so you want to buy a fresh turkey. Absolutely. The self-basting already has the inject in it. With a little pop-up yeah, thingy. Correct. You don't want that. No. Okay, good, good to know. You want a fresh turkey. Okay, so let's say we're going to, these have already cooked down. I'm going to bring the pot over. Yep. And you're going to put that turkey right there inside mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop that in there. Yep. So you're going to put then, So you're going to put your turkey into the cold right, chilled brine. Right, right, right. And you're going to make sure you completely submerge. And these are going to be in here. Yep. And then again, submerged with water. This will all be yes. cooked down. Cover Very with plastic cool. in the fridge and let it hold. One pound for every hour. So basically, your basic 12, 12 18, yeah. 24, however so it's, how a, it's a process, yeah. absolutely. Yep. And you're willing to do that all for us. Yes. And now tell us a little bit about when we're supposed to order, things like that. How, how does it Sooner work? Sooner the better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously. But uh, he's got to catch the turkeys. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, got to get them butchered. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll pick up on Wednesday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, depends. Okay. Um, we have a lot of. Locals, but we also have a lot of tourists of coming into town. Not a lot of refrigeration space, yeah. not a lot of stove space. And they don't have all the stuff to cook with. You yeah, know what I mean? They're coming here to relax and have vacation. Exactly. So they come in, we'll deliver it to them, or oh. you can come pick it up. Your choice. And but again, Tuesday or Wednesday. This is Tuesday or Wednesday, yep. so make sure we get your orders in. And you know, I hate to say it, guys, but it is literally around the corner. Around the corner. So uh, make your plans and uh, call Ryan or Leah over at the downtown deli, and um, they will definitely have a turkey ready for you, whether it's brined, roasted, ready to go, cold, whatever stuffed, you want. Unstuffed, stuffed, yeah. unstuffed. We got all the turkeys. And, and, <laughs> and all the sides to go with it. So uh, please stay tuned. We've got a little bit more of a show for you. And uh, thank you again, thank Ryan. You. Good Have to a great see you. Thanksgiving. You You're too. welcome. Thanks, Ryan. And I think I'll be calling you because I don't know if I could take on that brining myself. But thank you so much. And stay tuned because I have up next Chef Joe Sullivan from the Mulberry Street Cafe. He's going to share some great hero sandwiches and some great party platters with us.